Uh, I'm Peter Giller. Uh, I'm on the advisory board of uh, WindMW in Bremerhaven, Germany. Uh, we are the developer and owner and operator of the Meerwind wind farm, uh, which is 12 miles northwest of the island of Helgoland. We have our, our, one of our major contractors is CJAX of out of Great Yarmouth, and they install for us the foundations, the towers, the turbines, and the blades. And we are very happy to have them as our contract because it's what they do is very critical to us. The German is uh, is more simple. Uh, it, it's clear. You you know what your uh, revenue is going to be by a feed-in tariff. Uh, the, you don't have to worry about the grid connection. The, the, the grid connection is taken care of by the transmission uh, company, which uh, they have to build the grid connection, come to us to pick up the, the energy at our side. So we don't have to go to, to the mainland with the, with the connection, which is a major advantage. And, and, uh, and this is something which in the U UK still has to be sorted out, I think, particularly in round three. Yes, I, I, well, I think there's a lot of attention being paid to that in the UK right now. There's a lot of discussions about it, how to structure, and I think uh, I think the people are on the right way there. The key thing is not to make it too complicated for the developers, because for to develop an offshore wind park is a, a very challenging task. So if you add to that challenge the the connection to shore, in particular if it's high voltage DC. Now, if you have a simple AC connection to shore, a developer can handle that. If you burden him with the high voltage DC connection, which is a very complex task then it is, he's aiming at overloaded with, with, with complexity. Well, first of all, we, we talked about, talk about the, uh, the uh, need for a developer to become really a construction management company because there is really no viable lump sum EPC contract that you can go to and buy the whole project completely as a turnkey plan. So you, when you develop it, you have to get yourself organized to, to, to in a multi-contracting environment that means that you, number one, it's very important that you pick the right contractors, because if you have, we have, for example, eight contracts, if one of the contractors doesn't perform, the whole project fails. You can have seven contractors and one bad one and you're, you're dead. So you have to pick the right contractor. You have to create a, uh, your, an organization which can handle eight contractors. So you become also a construction project management company. So, and so you need to staff up for this. And, and then you have to find the banks who are willing to lend you the money in that structure, which is a, quite a task by itself. But it's not only a matter of the bank financing, you also have to try to get financing from, uh, from non-bank institutions, such as Danish export credits or, or a European investment bank. Or in Germany we have something called KFW, which is a government-sponsored bank, for, uh, and they provide up to uh, 300 million euros in financing. You need these big chunks of money because on a 400 megawatt offshore wind park, you, you're going to need about uh, 11, 1.1 1, 1 .1 billion euros of, of debt. So that's that's a lot of money to raise. And so it's so the finance is really a combination of commercial banks and and uh, government-owned. Uh, for banks who promote industry, you, you need to bring that combination together. I, I think I can can help a little bit in, in warning people what to do and not to do. You know, it, because it is. Um, it, I mean, the, 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 as long as we have projects built by utilities and they finance it on the balance sheet, that's it's, that's that complexity is gone. You don't need to run. You don't need to raise. Uh, project finance with so, so many banks. You go to the treasurer of the company and the treasurer gives you the funding to build the project. So you focus more on the technical issues. When you go, go away from that and you go into a project finance, meaning project meaning that the lenders have only, the, the project is the only security they have. Now you have to deal with the complexity of the technical issues and the construction issues, but also with the complexity of the financial issues. And um, that, um, that takes some doing.